That as a child, I was given just about everything that I possibly could want. Is that right? Except for love. Right, exactly. Or what I thought might be love from my parents. So when I reached a certain age, I was a very rebellious, you know, the drugs, the whole scene. And going. yet you had everything, and yet you wanted drugs. <laughs> right, it was something missing. missing. It was a big void in my life. And um, it's the process that, came that a was time. missing. It wasn't the process that was missing. The process of growing up independent of your parents. Right. Through the, through the love of Creator. Right. See, it who wasn't. supplies you with the insights and the, and the wisdom to move, and turn right and turn left, and make something grow, right. including it didn't yourself. Grow. <laughs> So it just went wild, really, and the outcome was, you know, being out on the street, growing up. Did you, up did you resent your parents for giving you very to, much? See, here's very, here's parents being much. good, and here's this young lady, resents her parents for being good, because that goodness wasn't good, was it? What were they no. looking for? It, I don't. It was. I don't know. It was something. But maybe it was, were, were your parents poor when they were young? They were pretty. They were pretty well. You they know, were born they worked in, for they, themselves, but they wanted us to be more, I believe, more like in They wanted steps. you not to they suffer want, like they had to suffer. Right, they wanted us to go to college and strive and strive and strive, but yet giving you everything so that you didn't want to strive or you did there this you go. and you They that. robbed you of the striving. <laughs> right. And then, they, then when you didn't strive, they pushed you. When you pushed you, you resented it and rebelled, so you didn't do any work at all. When you didn't do any work, they pushed you harder. And all because they loved you and gave you too much and robbed you of the strive. All they had to do was stop pushing you and stop giving you and let you flounder a little bit and lo and behold if there's any sparkle a sparkle farkle in you you'll grow right and the statement i would like <laughs> remember to that make, to a com comedy and the statement i would like to make is within myself i'm so glad i came out tonight you are because i am a giver and also a getter, you know. I play those games. You do, do you? Yes. You're doing the same thing as your parent. Right, right, right. Another generation. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but I'm being able to realize it to where something says, you know, what are you doing? What's your motive here? It's, at, you know, something is asking me within, but I try to cut it off like, I don't want to know what my motive is. You know, you I do just need. want to See, do this. Because you feel empty and you feel guilty and you don't feel like you're a whole person. Mm -hmm. See, because, you see, by, by your parents giving you everything, mm -hmm. they built an ego up in you. Of course, that ego is further grown by hating them, judging them. Mm -hmm. King and judge, right? Two, two right. reasons for ego. But now, the little ego has grown to be a big ego. And it's now made, out, made in the image of your parents. Now, you start to act like your parents. You start to being kind to people to get people to worship you. And you're creating little egos in your own image to worship, see? But to I see you in the good light. Wanna, that, I don't, that's not what I want I know do. you don't. I know you're a sweet lady, and I see that. So stop giving, and nobody will like you, and you'll suffer. <laughs> <laughs> and, you'll cu and you'll come back to all your guilts and resolve them in a proper way. Okay, thank so, you. Thank you.